I bet you've never had a haircut like this. I have threats. I'm the barber who tells customers to f off. Bang! Go f yourself. See how it's going on. Huh? When I was 14, my symptoms for Tourette started. Basically, wires are crossed in the old noodle. <laughs> this is something I cannot control. Could I cut someone today? Am I going to be able to control myself? And these kids were like five, six, seven. A minute later, I said, I said I got Tourette, do you know what I mean? And he was like, God, I wasn't expecting that. I felt guilty. And I also had family and friends kind of saying, can you not just stop? I remember asking dad, why is he like this? And I remember him just saying, something in his brain isn't right. My name is Josh Hughes, I'm 28, and I'm known as The Threats Barber. My shop now has been open for three years. We opened up in 2020, just after the first lockdown. <laughs> COVID. What's going on, mate? Yes, Lou. You good? I'm good, mate. I'm Come good. take a seat, sweetheart. Okay. What's the plan? I used to work for I used to work for my family and I made a big decision that I wanted to do something for myself and on my own. I'm actually kind of liking this length on top. Hang on. Cool. Right, let's do it. So there was definitely nerves there, but I felt like if I was good enough at my craft, my work would speak for itself over my Tourette's. Typically I would wake up, come to work, be fine in the morning, tiredness kicks in maybe mid-afternoon. Twitches start to come out a little bit, a little bit of swearing here and there, or a bit of grunting, whatever. And then as the day goes on, I get more and more tired, and then it kicks in more. I can't go to work some days because I'm not, my Tourette's was too severe that I couldn't drive. But I feel very fortunate that when I cut hair, I'm very like, I'm very focused, even though I'm twitching. It's not the worst condition in the world, but I tell you what, some days it can be really debilitating. I've been very lucky, I've got very understanding friends and people around me that has always helped that, but <laughs> God, how long have you been cutting your hair now? It's probably well, it's been as long as I've been cutting hair. At now. least. At so least. at least six years, but then... Yeah, yeah, I went through those nice trials. The dodgy stages. Yeah, the dodgy stages. So Josh has always been that kind of older, brotherly figure. I mean, he's all right. He's yeah. all right. You've done my nutting, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, we didn't love each other so much, we would not be friends. Sometimes it can be something I've never said before, but it can be something that I have no recollection of retaining. Like somebody just <laughs> casually getting money out of their account, <laughs> rolls the window down, yeah. I know your pin number, and then just like carries on driving. And it was like those moments where so kind of innocent. I used to make a noise like this, like, there was a guy, I watched a documentary years ago and he was blind. And that's how he got around from sonar, from that noise. That's how some people find your shop, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I say with my Tourette's that it's almost like a separate person. Someone having their own opinion and ah, their own say. Some of the words and phrases I say wouldn't be something I would say personally. That's why a lot of people say, why is Tourette's so vulgar and why is it always swearing? You f***ing tell me, I don't know. So my first tig when I first started twitching, I was, I was 14. I was on a ski trip with my school. I had a very minor fall. I kind of had like a, not quite a seizure, but what I now look back at is probably like a, a a tick attack. I started convulsing involuntary movements because I couldn't control my arms or legs. So I had to literally be strapped down to the last five seats to have a coach for 23 hours. That's where my journey with Tourette's began, basically. They reckon I had a fall which triggered spinal fluid in the back of my brain, but I personally feel like I've always had Tourette's and that was my trigger. Pew! So I was quite known anyway, and then getting Tourette's at 14, it was like catapulted me into kind of like everyone knew who I was because it was this really weird situation where this young lad had got Tourette's out of nowhere. Did you ever find anybody that took a bit sour to that? A little bit. I think people thought I was getting away with everything. Yeah. Like I didn't yeah. have to go to class or I didn't have to do mm. this or that. First couple of ticks was more like physical. Lots of that, hitting myself. I felt scared. I felt angry at myself. I felt guilty. I felt confused. Quite rapidly, the vocal ticks started to come on as well. I hate using the term normal, but I went from being a normal lad to like, <laughs> to having Tourette's quite quickly. And I got diagnosed within six months. Pretty, pretty little girl. Oh, I've definitely felt embarrassed and, and guilty at times with things I've said. I think the embarrassment stuff is when it's really immature. <laughs> Cute boy. <laughs> there is some things that I'm thinking about. I'm like, don't, try not to say that. Try not to think about that. It's not like I've just got Tourette's to give myself a pass to say whatever the I want. I can say what the I want because I've got Tourette's, but that's not out of choice. <laughs> Baldy. I reckon there has been people who've decided not to come back, whether it's with their children or they just don't like that. <laughs> They don't like the language, but I think once people understand where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to do, I think they then get it. Cutting hair and having Tourette's, obviously there is the physical side of, am I gonna be able to control myself? And I'm so hyper aware of that all the time. I f***ed up people's hair before, but nothing to do with Tourette's. If my hands are too physical, I won't, I'll have to stop cutting. But I, I'm a lot more in tune with my body as I've got older, and I understand the signs and signals, and I have to take them seriously now. Beautiful. At the end of the day, I love my job and I love the industry, but it's just a haircut. 
It's not life or death. I'm not performing surgery. Do you want the surgery? Please. Black Ops. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think so, you? Mm. Yeah, I am. 100%. Yeah? As long as you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm paying for it. Mm, exactly. People do struggle to know when I'm twitching and when I'm not. Yeah, because none of that was twitching. Because sometimes I'm trying to be funny, do you know what I mean? But, and I, I am quite a funny person. Yeah? <laughs> Perfect. Thanking you. Thanking you. Go f yourself. I started posting on TikTok about a year ago. Can be quite a lot to hear first time round. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Give me tea. I'd love a tea. Yeah. My fiance Lucy said, let's give it a go. Just put the camera up while you're twitching and cutting hair. I like uncooked toast. That's bread. Wet coronation. Good old tug. Tom always gives me a hardy. <laughs> And it got quite a good response online. Telling our stories from our point of view. Today is Tourette's Awareness Day. And it kind of snowballed from there, really. Really appreciate the love, so. Come at me, bro. There has been some negative, like whether it's people thinking you're putting it on or people have also accused me of faking it. I don't personally mind when people laugh, because it is funny at times, but laughing with, not at, that's the rule. Okay, F you, ain't you, mum? Lucy and I have been together for 11 years now. We knew of each other, you know, it's like in a close-knit town community. Someone gave us the nod, gave us someone else's number, and bada bing, bada boom. When I first met Josh, when I first met Josh, um, <clears throat> his threats wasn't very severe, so <clears throat> as it's progressed over the years, I don't really want to use the word embarrassed, wary of how people were gonna perceive Josh and you know worried about the reactions that you were going to get. Mm. She's only ever known me with Tourette's but when we first got together that phase my Tourette's was kind of dormant. I, I wasn't really twitching a lot and then my Tourette's came back and she had to get used to it all over again. It is what it is and if people <coughs> don't want to understand or if people want to laugh that is their problem not ours. So. Okay. And now I, I don't really think about it too much when we go out even if your tics are severe. Mm. Um, I think we've just learnt to live with it and get on with our own business. 100%. I've had so many messages and comments from parents especially. It is hard when you're growing up and you don't know what to do at the best of times, let alone having threats and lights. So there's, other, oh, there's other people like they're out there. Oh, like them out there. That's something that really gets me going because a parent who's dealing with a child who's got Tourette's must be really hard because I saw my parents go through it, I went through it myself. Where you don't know what to do, you feel very helpless and it can have a real toll on a family. Hi darling. Oh, oh, the whole diagnosis was quite tough because I remember asking Dad, oh, like, why is he like this? And I remember him just saying, it's just something in his brain that isn't right mm. and they're going to figure out what it is. I think my family at the time were just completely gobsmacked with what was actually, <laughs> with what was actually going on because it is quite an unusual thing to suddenly happen. I think it put a hell of a lot of pressure on them. I think it was a lot for two siblings like my sisters to like all of a sudden see their brother kind of like have this change happen, you know, literally overnight. He's always been like a big bundle of energy and a lot, but in a good, no, but in a, no, but when we're out at the pub sometimes, especially when it's busy. Lovely. I'm quite twitchy at the moment. Hmm. It's a lot of people like my age just think you're a bit rowdy and that irritates me slightly. I'm always kind of like looking at people when you do say something, just because if they laugh, that doesn't bother me, but it's the constant staring. Mm. I think you've always been so good at talking to people. I think that's why you're so good at your job now. People that have judged me in the past, whether it's thinking I'm putting it on or think I'm only where I am because of my condition or whatever, like, I feel like I'm not done yet. I want to spread. Spread positivity. Keep spreading the awareness as well, you know? It's all right to be different. Prove to everyone you can be successful with Tourette's and be a well-rounded person.